Welcome to the e-lecture series on intellectual property. We will focus here on intellectual property generated at academic research organizations and the role of intellectual property in the transfer of research results to the market. I am Dior Baumjohan, a technology manager at Asenion. Asenion is a technology transfer company focusing um, on the life sciences. We work with numerous medical universities and academic research organizations in Germany and Austria, as well as throughout Europe. Um, we are the technology transfer partner of the Medical University of Innsbruck. So in this micro lecture series, um, in the next five uh, episodes, we will go over technology transfer of intellectual property rights. Does your technology have commercial potential? As well as some patent basics and copyright fundamentals uh, as they relate to the software and also commercialization of intellectual property rights. So after watching the five uh, micro lectures, I hope that you will know some basic concepts of intellectual property rights and translation of research results to the market, and that you have an idea of whether your research results may have commercial potential, um, and also to be aware of technology transfer resources that are generally available to researchers, um, employees of universities, and academic research organizations. Um, I hope you also um, take away and be able to understand the economic considerations taken by uh, academic research organizations when they build their patent portfolio, as well as um, by companies when they decide whether or not to in-license technologies. And also, um, I hope that you'll be familiar with some potential commercialization strategies um, that are used for intellectual property assets. So um, yeah, I hope you'll take a look at the next five micro lectures, um, and thank you for um, tuning in. Mm -hmm.